In a couple of weeks, Fayette County Public Schools will start bringing back outdoor athletics and extracurricular activities in phases. But students can expect things to look very different, as officials say health and safety is the priority. Evening Edition's Alex Valverde has more. The school district has a long list of guidelines they need to follow once athletes get back to practice, and that's coming up soon. On June 29th, practice will resume at the high schools for fall sports. This includes cheerleading, cross country, dance, football, golf, soccer, and volleyball. And not too far behind, middle school sports and other high school sports will resume on July 6. A task force made up of district leaders, school principals, athletic directors and trainers, and coaches has developed detailed plans and safety procedures in order for these activities to resume. Some of the safety measures include making sure there's enough space for athletes to meet social distancing guidelines, adding outdoor sanitizing stations and installing signs for designated workout areas around campus and for drop off and pickup points to avoid people crowding in one spot. It's no contact, it's conditioning. You're going to see a lot of running. Um, we're not even going to have at that point students in the weight rooms yet. Uh, we really want to get them back get them acclimated to the new guidelines, uh, to the new safety measures. Obviously, it's going to be different and it's going to take some time to teach some of those. And as activities resume, officials say they're going to have to be flexible. So these guidelines are still being finalized. In the meantime, families and students are asked to monitor their health and follow state and local health guidelines. And if families don't feel comfortable coming back when the time comes, they won't be penalized. In Lexington, Alex Valverde, LEX 18 News.